somebody's got to protest somewhere, you know. I'm doing it this way. I guess I would sort of make the argument that an atheist wanders into the world. If they open their eyes and they don't use any prejudgment, if they don't go by any classic models of what reality is, and they go out and they discern it for themselves, understanding evolution and some cosmology and biology, some basic science, but no prehistory, no human history of what the truth is, and they try to make an honest observation of what the game is, what the territory is, and what their role in it is. It seems pretty apparent. I mean, you look out there and you say, well, what's the important feature here? Ah, it's this comfort thing. Human beings can feel pain and human beings can feel pleasure. And then you also realize that human beings are just barely transitioned, just a transition from these other mammals, these other animals that have built on the same mechanism. A mechanism has probably been around a long time. Pain and pleasure has probably been a motivating mechanism in central nervous systems for a long time. It really is the value of the whole game. I mean, if you try to figure out what gives something value, you can usually relate it to the fact that it'll have a positive effect or a negative effect on a sentient creature. There's no other way to assess value but then to understand that that's the real game here. And yeah, we can have our individual preferences and prejudices and likes and dislikes, but the bottom line is, is the game is to optimize the number of people enjoying this sensation of pleasure. We're really not obligated to play some sort of monopoly game where I take your money, you take my money, like I have to get my pleasure at your suffering. Like I have to compromise somebody else's welfare to be the winner. It's really not that kind of game. We can see it. That we can we can sort of maximize it by getting along and having some basic rules of functionality, and that way we can all kind of win. It's not a winner take it all kind of game. It's a game where you try to prevent the hardship, the pain, the suffering, the miseries by just creating some sort of efficient systems that have the utility of enhancing efficiency. And the efficiency is sort of going to be defined by how much pain or how much pleasure it creates. Just extend it to these other feeling organisms. The only thing they lack is the capacity to have complex conversation, but they're certainly capable of feeling, feeling something very substantial. For you not to have respect for that, that these other sentient creatures are in the same game you're playing, that their welfare is just as important as your welfare, their pain is just as real as your pain, you really can't gain at their expense. There's just no reason, no rational reason, to apply some silly standard that says you're just not smart enough for us to care whether you suffer. Make an argument that makes some sort of rational sense that isn't based on some sort of historic bigotry. Justify this idea that somehow you can dismiss the taking. Justify yourself. We can be psychologically easy to please. We don't have to be hard to please. We could be easy to please. And it would be a good idea to tend towards that end. Yeah, so enough of a video.